Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today, we are going to solve this problem from IIT MMS 2022, problem number 25. The problem says that let these quantities, this, this 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and so on, be the observed values of a random sample of size 6 from a continuous distribution with the PDF. This fx is equal to 1 if x lies between 0 and half, and 1 by 2 theta minus 1 if x lies between half and theta, and 0 otherwise. But theta greater than half is unknown. Theta is unknown, but it is known that theta is greater than half. Then the maximum likelihood estimate and the method of moments estimate of theta respectively are there are four options. So we need to find the MLE and the MME, right? Of theta. So let us try to find the general case. Let x1 through xn be a random sample of size n from the given PDF. This this thing, right? This fx is equal to 1 if x lies between 0 and half, and 1 by 2 theta minus 1 if x lies between half and theta. But theta is greater than half, right? So let us define a function i of x, then this indicator function i of x is equal to 1 if x lies between 0 and half, and 0 if x lies between half and theta. So I am defining this function i of x. Now, if you can see, this function fx can be written as 1 to the power i of x into 1 by 2 theta minus 1 to the power 1 minus i of x for x lying between 0 and theta. That means this entire this splitted out form, this PDF has been splitted out, right? This one, if this case for x is equals to this, and one by two theta minus one for x is equals to this. So I am just combining these two in just a single form. Form. So using the help of this i of x function, see, suppose x lies between zero and half, then that means i in that case i becomes one, right? If x lies between zero and half, then i becomes one. In that case, this this part i i of x becomes one and 1 minus i of x becomes 0. So ultimately, fx becomes 1, which is in, you know, analogous to what we need. i of x has to, f of x has to be equals to 1 if x lies between 0 and half. Again, if x lies between half and theta, then i of x is equals to 0, right? In that case, 1 to the power 0 and this to the power 1 by 2 theta minus 1 to the power 1 minus 0. That means ultimately, it becomes 1 by 2 theta minus 1, which is true again. So this fx can be written as, in a combined form as 1 to the power i of uh, i of x into 1 by 2 theta minus 1 to the power 1 minus i of x, right? Where x lies between 0 and theta. Now, the likelihood function L of theta given x curl, this x curl is basically the random sample the for a fixed uh, fixed value of the random sample. This product of f of xi, right? Because obviously they are independent and identically distributed. So this is nothing but product of this thing, this this function, this thing, this function, right? This thing and this entire thing, where each xi lies between 0 and theta, mind you. This has to be this this condition is important. We shouldn't forget this condition. Each of the xi lie between 0 and theta. Now, this thing is nothing but 1 to the power summation of i of xi into 1 by 2 theta minus 1 to the power n minus summation of xi, right? Where 0 is less than x order 1 is less than equals x order n is less than equals theta. This this entire thing, this x all of the xi lie between 0 and theta is equivalent to saying that that 0 is less than the minimum of the minimum of the values of the xi. Which is less than equals the maximum of the values of the x size, which is less than equals theta, right? This is this is just the same thing. The minimum value is greater than zero, and the maximum value is less than equals theta. So this is just that. This x order one means minimum, and x order n means maximum. Now, natural log of the likelihood function, log likelihood. We are taking log both sides. This is summation i of x i minus n into log of two theta minus one, where theta is greater than equals x order n. We are just focusing on the last part of the inequality. This is not much needed, right? So this log likelihood, this function is this, if theta is greater than equals x order n. Now differentiating with respect to theta, we get this thing, right? For theta greater than equals x order n. Now, if you can see, summation of i of xi actually counts the number of random variables among this x1 through xn, which lie between this 0 and half. Think about it. i of xi is 1 if x lies between 0 and half. Now, I of, we, we are uh, considering the value of the function i of x for each of the random variables, right? So, so when summing all the i values, when summing all the i of x values, we are getting the number of these among the number of random variables among these n random variables which lie between 0 and half, right? So obviously, summation xi minus n has to be less than equal to 0, right? Because there are total n random variables and summation i of xi denotes how many of them lie between 0 and half. So it cannot be more than n, right? It has to be less than n. Less than, less than or equal to n. So this entire thing is non-positive, right? 
again obviously theta is greater than half so 2 theta minus 1 is positive so ultimately this entire function this 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 derivative this derivative of the log likelihood this entire thing is actually non positive right for theta for all theta greater than equals x order n that means this function l of theta is a decreasing function for theta greater than equals x order n that means this function is maximum at x at theta equals to x order n that means that means theta hat is equals to x order n is the mle of theta right this is the mle of theta that means the maximum of the of the sample the maximum value in the sample is the maximum likelihood estimator of theta now here there are six values are given we, we have actually done the general case now there are six values are given so among these the value having the highest value the which is 1.4 right 1.4 is the highest among these six values so 1.4 is actually the mle of theta this thing 1.4 is the mle of theta which is 7 by 5 right now the method of moments estimate is even easier we just need to equate the population moment with the sample moment so let us try to do with expectation so expectation of x is this this thing expectation of x expected the population mean which turns out to be 1 by 8 plus 1 by 2 theta minus 1 into theta square by 2 minus 1 by 8 this this thing is the expectation of x now the sample mean is obviously 1 by 6 times this this six value summation of the six values which is 47 by 60 now with the method of moments we are equating the population mean with the sample mean right so ultimately this entire thing becomes a quadratic in theta and all that and after calculating this theta we get 32 by 15 so that so 32 by 15 is the method of moments estimate of theta so method of moments estimate is even easier we know it's just equating the population moment with the sample moment so the emily part was the trickier one maybe but the mme the method of moments was easy right so there you have it the solution so it's a quite a, quite easy problem the, the only prob the only thing the only tricky part was the pdf is not in a single form it is split out right it's been piecewise defined so for that i just use this function i define this function i of x and using that i just combine this entire pdf in a single form this this entire thing. so yeah so do like share and subscribe to the channel for more exciting problems see you till next time